Hey guys, Link7192 here. I'm uh, going to show you how to download Nintendo 64 games on your computer. And this is all free. It's an emulator. You've probably heard of it. I'm just making this video out of boredom. Uh, if people start watching these, I'll probably end up making more uh, about other game consoles like uh, Super Nintendo or PS2 or whatever. Anyways, <clears throat> in order to get the emulator, you want to head over to Emulator Zone. So I'm just going to Google it. And it's the first one. And on the left, you'll see all the emulators. And for now, we want Nintendo 64. Now you scroll down and download Project 64. That's the best one out of all of these, as you can see. So I'll just download this one. Uh, here it tells you the the requirements, pretty much. I mean, that's not bad. You don't really need a good computer at all to run this. So you just open it. And you can change wherever you want it to save at. I don't really care. Install. Alright, so I guess I'll just launch it real quick. Uh, here's language. Um, Alright, what we've downloaded, basically, it's just, uh, it's just the this, this system. There's no games in it or anything, so now you just need the games, which are called ROMs. And you can get that at MU Paradise. Uh, .org. And on the left, you'll see ROMs, ISOs, and games. You want this one under hosted. And now here you look for the system. And here's the top downloads, but here you can just search alphabetical order. I'll just download, uh, let's see, download Pokemon. It's a great game. So you scroll down and download the direct download link. Just scroll down again. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. Um, you guys might need WinRAR. I suggest you get it. Just Google WinRAR and download it. It's just to extract the file. So unlike PS2 games and PS1 games, Nintendo 64 games are pretty small, only 26 MB. When you have uh, PS2 games, they'll probably be around 1 gig. So yeah, after you download it, just extract it to your desktop or wherever you want it. I'll just put it in my desktop for now. Now you go back to Project 64, open ROM, and just look for it wherever you put it. Like I said, mine's in my desktop. Just open, and that's about it. Because... And here are the options. You can set your controllers or whatever. Or if you have a PS2 controller or an Xbox 360 controller, you can just plug it in and change the buttons and stuff. So yeah, it's pretty easy. So uh yeah, I'll be making more videos and so just subscribe. I'll see you guys later. I hope this helps.